Welcome everyone to another episode of StarMade. Ha, uh, yeah. The previous time we have built this very ugly but functional harvester with which I gathered tons of materials so we can continue today. What we want to do today is fight a bunch of pirates and get their precious loot. So we are going to build a small but functional fighter with internal weapon systems as well as turret systems. So this is going to be very interesting. As of now I have all of my items stored in those 5 plex storage systems which are installed on my ship and this is really dangerous because if this ship gets destroyed it will disappear into thin air and we will be left with nothing and that's something that we definitely want to prevent. So in a future episodes we're definitely going to claim a planet or a space station so we can uh, securely store a bunch of items. But for right now this must suffice. But if we have a look in here we can see that I have plenty of materials, we have plenty of hull, 200,000 grey hull. That's just crazy, that's the materials from two space stations. We also have a bunch of planetary materials uh, as well as from asteroids. Here's a little more technical stuff. You can see we have uh, tons of power modules and we're just pumped with all the, all the good stuff that we can use in future episodes. So we won't have to worry about that for a long time. Also, I have 2000 glass in my hotbar right there, which we can sell and make plenty of money in case we need to buy something else. Well, so first things first, we do need a ship core, so let's hit the X key, make sure that you have a ship core and we are gonna name this Nathan Fighter. Why not? We're gonna enter the ship core into build mode. I already set the plane, which is convenient, otherwise hit control and set your plane yourself. Make sure it's in odd symmetry mode if you want to do so. And we're gonna add a bunch of power modules right there. Uh, let's say about five into this direction and two up. I'm gonna fill this with a bunch of shields so we are also protected. There we go. I think that's all right for now. We can always expand later on when we see how the general shape is uh, forming itself. I'm, I'm just you know kind of winging it at the moment and uh, gonna do some adjustments later on. So I want myself uh, four weapon systems that I can control myself. It's going to be the same weapon system, it's just going to be some antimatter cannons, but it's going to be four of them. Right, and we need to place our weapons computer first, make sure it is selected or highlighted, and now we can place our antimatter cannons. Uh, let's go with about seven or so, is that seven or so? Yeah, it is. And one down there too. Now we only need to hit the T key, make sure that this is assigned a um, weapons computer. It's For me it's already set to 1, which is convenient. I can hit the space key and check it out. Cool. We seem to have enough power to support those four cannons, which is uh, good to know. We also might want to add a bunch of thrusters. Let's see how we can do that. Probably gonna add something like that. I don't know. We shall see how it is uh, working out. That is probably already enough. Right, so once we add the hole, you, we will get a better idea of the shape of the spaceship. Right now it looks a little bit naked. But now we can fly around. We seem to be very agile. The acceleration is, is doing fine. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely enough thrusters for this ship. For now. Right, so what I will do now is basically add a bunch of hole until I'm happy with the looks. It's going to be a mixture of the blocky holes and also these wedges that we can use to make it a little bit smoother. I don't want the blockish holes everywhere and also we're going to leave a bunch of parts exposed in order to keep ourselves as light as possible. Also I want my drive or my thrusters to be a little bit more in a star shape or a plus sign. Yeah, that should, that should be good. And I think here I'm gonna also add a bunch of wedges. We can try to add one here. For that we have to hit the control key and you can see how it will be aligned. I'm not sure if you can see that on YouTube very well. It is also hard to see right here. But eventually you will get the 
to the one that you are needing. Oh my gosh, that, that took a while. But there we go. Now I have the exact uh, same one on the other side and the program or the symmetry mode was smart enough to switch it. Anyways, I'm not gonna add any other things other than hole and I'll be right back once I'm happy with the looks. Alright, so this is how the ship looks so far. I have myself almost a cockpit that I want to build together with you and I've also made the thrusters a little bit more beautiful. I also realized that we do have a power shortage uh, since we have added the thrusters. They are sucking up the power far too quickly, but we can bother with that in just a bit. Let's add our SD cockpit that I acquired from the store and I'm actually going to add it right here. That is the place for it. We're also going to add a bunch of plex glass right on top of here and there. Yeah, that's all right. And we want our last plex glass, of course, to be facing this way. There we go. Now we have a nice little cockpit. And of course, we need to do something about our weapon system. I don't want to have it exposed just as much, but I'm not going to cover everything. We. You know, our enemies should see the weapons. But I'm also going to implement some kind of uh, system f to add more power, probably something along these lines. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's probably going to be it. Well, we shall see. I'll be right back with you. Well, so here we are. I finished the hole a little bit the way I wanted and I consider this done for the time being. We of course also want to add some turrets. We're gonna add them right here actually, two of them. But first we're gonna take this baby to a for a test run. So let's go inside the core which we can access from below. Just like that. And it is pretty secure for the core, at least until the shields break. I added a few more shields so we are a little bit better protected. We are still very agile and before I actually leave this sector I need to write down the coordinates. Right there it's minus one zero zero and the sector is minus ten six ten. Cool. Easy to remember, so I have to get back to my harvester eventually once we are done with our test ride. But let's find pirates and hopefully it's just gonna be a few of them or only one preferably. That would be good so we don't run into too many problems. This is only to test the system. Fly around a little bit. There's a few asteroids with sand. It looks so precious, but it is only sand. And I think nearby those planets I will eventually set myself up. I will claim one of those planets in future episodes and also build a space station where we can dock our ships and where we have a home. So let's see, there's a few pirates actually. Let's see in which direction they are. Oh. Those are uh, many, many pirates. Let's see if we can lure one of them away. That should be possible. Sometimes it is hard to fly if you have no reference uh, in which direction you're going. So they are only 500. Now 500 meters. Oh, that doesn't look good. Uh, let's hit. Let's try to Im impress them. Now, uh, at the bottom we can actually see our shields, so we have to kind of check if the shields can hold up, otherwise we might have to run away. <laughs> Those are so many pirates, that's not going well. I have to get closer. I have to get closer to one of them. Oh, 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 no, no. They totally... Oh, they messed up my shields already. That's not good. That's not good. So what I think we should do, since since they knocked through my shields so quickly, we are going to add a few more shields as well as some turrets, as I said. So we have some extra power. I think we need uh, some extra power in order to really kick their butts. Well, the next step that I'm going to take is obviously install some turrets because that didn't quite work out as planned. Also, we need to install a f way more shields. I already installed a bunch more, which uh, should be good. But I think I'm going to exchange this block 
with a turret docking station. That is what we're going to need and we can see a nice visual representation of how big our turret can be. There's also some extenders so you could make your turrets a little bit bigger but I think for now that's going to suffice for us. So I'm going to leave my ship again and what we are going to do is make ourselves a new ship and this is going to be let's say Nathan Turret. Uh, I'm going to call this Nathan Turret 01. Maybe I'm going to make a bunch more designs so I uh, I kind of want to have a nice naming scheme. Anyways, uh, let's enter the ship core and what we are going to do is in go to flight mode and we are going to go to our ship. Where is it? Up here. And by default every ship core has this um, docking beam which is number zero by default and the only thing we have to do is dock onto one of those stations and I'm not sure if you have to be aligned properly to, or you know you need to be facing the way you want to dock but you simply shoot on this thing and you should be docked to the station very nice now I can leave into build mode and I will be seeing how large my turret can be so I can use up all of this space and maybe one block less into this direction so we don't interfere with each other very nice very good to know so I'm gonna set my symmetry plane here actually I'm gonna unset it because we need a few different components to make this work for once we need some power we need shields so we can protect the turret itself we need one weapons computer, a bunch of antimatter cannons, and finally we need a Bobby AI unit. This is very important, so uh, the thing will actually manage to control itself without our doing. Anyways, all we need to do is add our components. So I'm gonna add a mini reactor somehow like this. The only thing we need to make sure is that we don't expand over the area that we are allowed to build so this is the very last block that I'm allowed to build so we are gonna take this away also make sure that you have enough shields we cannot go lower than this the core from the bottom must be exposed and must be the lowest block so maybe uh, we are gonna add shields like that that should be good and we are also going to add, of course, our weapons computer. That could be uh, going, let's say, right here. And we are going to add our antimatter cannons. And these can be all the way around. Just make sure that they somehow connect to each other so they form one powerful beam. And we're going to do something like that. I still want it to kind of look like a turret if at all possible so we are probably gonna remove this block like so now they are not connected anymore like this they don't need a lot of power so the the reactor doesn't need to be that big okay and we are gonna add one more row like so Well, it doesn't doesn't look too doesn't look too good. I have to say, maybe if we removed some of this, I don't know. Maybe we shall see. We shall see. We can always tweak around with that. It doesn't really matter. For now, we just need to get it working, right? So we are gonna add our Bobby AI module. Now this guy is preferably exposed in a way so that you can access it. It doesn't need to be uh, completely exposed. Uh, but you, we are going to copy this turret, which means the Bobby AI unit will always be disabled by default. So uh, we have to activate it for each turret. All right, I think this is uh, going to be all right. Let's actually test it out. Yeah should be good. We are actually using up the power as you can see but only very slowly so if we added maybe one more reactor block we could solve this problem. Let's see where we could add it. 
the best. There's actually one block missing here. I don't know, maybe we are gonna remove a shield block or we can remove those two guys and add them right here. There we go. Maybe that will do the trick. Yeah, now we are instantly refueling the power. That's good, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, so this is going to be one of my turrets. It's not very beautiful, I have to admit, but it's hopefully gonna do its job. We shall see. What I want to do is actually save this turret. So we are gonna hit the inventory key, and it is a little bit hidden for me, but there is a button called Catalog, and we are going to create a new entry right here that we are gonna name uh, Nathan Turret 01. Whoops. What the? Oops. That's not working out. There we go. Oh, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nathan Turret 01. Now this baby is saved and I can buy myself another one should I have the gold uh, or the, the money necessary, which is 14,000. So let's buy that. And we're going to call this Nathan Turret 02, of course. Something like that. All right. Now, it should have appeared somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it is right over there. So let's leave this ship, we're gonna go to our core over there, and now this is gonna be very slow because we have no uh, thrusters attached, but I think we should make it. Okay, now we are there and we can dock onto it. Let's try to do that. Uh, hello? Hello? Target not compatible? What are you talking about? Let's there we go. And we docked onto the station. Now we're gonna leave this ship. And we have both our turrets in place, which means we can adjust the Bobby AI unit. Let's hit the R key. And what we want to have is aim at any ship, right? And this is not going to be a ship type, it's going to be a turret type, and it's going to be active. There we go. And now we cannot enter the ship core anymore, otherwise we are going to disable the Bobby I AI unit. So let's do the same thing right here. Turret, any ship, and active. Very nice. So, I think we are ready for test drive number two. Oh well, it's so many pirates again that I have spotted right here on my screen, on my radar, but we shall see. Let's try to be a little bit smarter. What is this weird glitch? I think they are already shooting. Yeah, they are. That's not good. Okay, let's do this. L let's not chicken out here. I'm gonna totally finish you. I think we lured this guy away. Yeah, you can hear my uh, Bobby AI units doing its thing. Oh yes, we, we bursted through his shields. Come on, finish him off. Oh, we're taking damage. That's not good. That's not good. I don't want to take damage. I don't want to freaking repair my ship. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my core is exposed. That's not good. That's not good. No, no, no. Let's Let's try to finish this guy. We can, we can do it. My, sh my shields have recovered, but no, no, they're going down again. Fuel up. There we go. Okay, let's attack him again. This, by the way, is my first pirate that I'm attacking, so don't blame me for anything. Shoot him! Kill him! Kill him! Turrets, do your thing! Make me rich! Man, I'm stressed out. My shields are going down. Where's his freaking core? It must be exposed by now. Come on. Oh, my shields are, are down. My shields are down. No, taking damage, taking damage. 15 seconds to recover. Okay. Let's not stress out. Calm down, I said. Okay, they're recovering. Oh no, the sun. No, I lost him. Where the heck is him? Why didn't I ha Oh no. All right, one more attempt for glory and happiness, and we shall succeed and be the victor of this 
fight because it's only one pirate. I think I can deal with that. Oh, he's already shooting. Okay, turrets, do your thing, just like before. Don't pass him. Oh man. I think we can do it. He's slowly going through my shields, that's no problem because we we got this. We got his core. Oh, he it the core is overheating. That's perfect. So we actually succeeded, I believe. Did we? Did he drop something? Did I miss that? I don't even know how they drop it, to be honest with you. Um come to a hold. Come to a hold. So um I think I can enter his core. Where is it? It's in there, but the ship keeps moving. How am I supposed to enter his ship if it keeps moving? Let, let, let's try to do it. Yeah, yeah, we can totally do it. So I have to enter his core so it doesn't overheat. There we go. And we can switch to build mode and snag us all his freaking parts, his ship parts. But one more thing that is uh, way more interesting is that they usually drop something and I think he dropped it at the spot where I killed him. That might be. So it's really hard to, or it's actually easy to miss it. It's really hard to spot it. I didn't see it. I wasn't prepared for it. I'm not sure if I will ever find it again, but what I know that I will totally take this thing apart. And there we go. We got the ship core. Perfect. So where is my ship? Um, Nathan Fighter. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it, it's hard enough to play in 3D games that play on a flat surface, but this is just insane. My orientation is so bad. Anyways, I think we succeeded here. The only thing we might attempt to achieve is go back to flight mode and have a look out for the items, but I highly doubt that I'm gonna find them, except... No, they are not visible here. So that actually is a really stupid system if they kind of drop where... where Because, you know, there's some momentum to the ship and I just didn't see the items. But anyways, we succeeded in defeating a pirate which is good enough to finish off this episode thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i'm gonna catch you the next time have a great time bye bye